One of the things that we've talked about when it comes to shifting attention is this idea of, hey, Hillary. Obviously, it was originally named after Hillary. Um, when I work with children, I call it, hey, Thomas, or hey, Billy, and they're so shocked that there's a game na named after them. Here's how it works. Hey, Hillary. Good. You're looking at me. You put down the phone. You're missing one thing. You have to participate and respond and say, what, Jeff? Oh, okay. No big deal. We'll try it again. Hey, Hillary. Yes, Jeff. Um, in that case, she did all three things that are part of Hey, Hillary. She wouldn't get rewarded. She wouldn't get her credit because she had been prompted. Then later on in the morning, I might say, hey, Hillary, and she'll put the phone down, put her hands down and look at me. The other thing about it is she was doing it on a phone, right? When you're working on shifting attention, you don't start with a phone or a video game. You start with them walking down the hall, doing a task, drinking milk, something where it's easier to disengage from what you're doing and shift your attention to mom or dad. You can also use a cue that the teacher can use. So I could say, listen up, if that's what the teacher says. And when we're practicing, practicing at home, let's try it. Play with the phone. And I go, listen up. Now, in this case, she's not going to say, what dad is she? Because in this case, the teacher is not asking the class to say, yes, teacher. Although, frankly, it might not be a bad idea if they in unison did. Okay, so, hey, Hillary is a pretty simple thing if you practice a lot. If you don't practice enough, then it's not going to take root. It's not going to stick. Now, what Hillary is very cooperative in this activity. Now, let's imagine that I'm doing hey, Hillary, and she knows that I've said hey, Hillary, and um, she's not going to respond. You ready? Hey, Hillary. So here's the deal. We're going to practice, hey, Hillary. Maybe we shouldn't practice now. Maybe we should practice later. Yes, I know you want to go skiing with your friends or you want to go outside and shoot baskets, but we got to work on this. In the meantime, turn it off. We're done. Most kids don't like the idea of having a practice later. They'd rather respond positively now, and they certainly don't like it if I take the path of turning the game off. 